what's up guys I got another story for you so basically like all the other videos I'm just gonna start right on it so I was 11 years old right and I was still living with my mom in Texas and I knew she smoked a lot of weed and I was a weird kid you know no one liked me I was always getting in trouble at school uh, so I was a really weird kid so I did weird stuff so I was really bored and I decided to go rummaging through the car I think I was looking for a lighter to mess around with or you know play with fire I was really bored so I end up looking in the console and I find these two big old balls of weed and it was definitely more than I'd say it was more than three grams uh, but I can't really remember because I was so young uh, but anyways I decided to snag one of these and put it in my own Ziploc bag and then I put it in a fisherman's box and I decided to hide this fisherman's box at the tennis court uh, near the park by our house and basically no one goes to this park and no one goes to this tennis court so I thought it was in the clear and I hid it under some leaves so I thought it was good and keep in mind this story happens over like a weekend uh, so a lot happened in a weekend especially for my little 11 year old self uh, so just keep that in mind so basically I made a really dumb idea to tell uh, a seventh grader I was in sixth grade so a seventh grader for me was like wow so I basically told a seventh grader I thought he was the chillest guy on earth I was like, yo, I have some weed and I have it in the box. I don't know why I told him. I felt the need to tell somebody. You know, I was 11 years old. I can't keep a secret, right? Uh, but the problem with telling people things is they end up telling other people as well. So he ended up telling this kid, Gavin, and some other people. I was chill with them knowing, you know, I wasn't, I kind of trusted them, you know, it wasn't a big deal. Uh, but then uh, one day I was hanging out with Gavin. We were riding our bikes, and this was on a Sunday, right? And uh, basically, uh, we're riding over to the weed uh, in the tennis court. And basically, we're going to go get some and smoke some. So we go over, and basically, these two kids uh, are standing there. And one is the seventh grader that I told about it. And then another is a kid I don't really know. He's like a fifth grader or sixth grader. And uh, basically, the seventh grader goes, Yo, the cops just came over and told us to stay here and they took the box with them like I would go right now. So me and Gavin, because me and Gavin had been smoking a little bit and uh, we were like, oh shit, like I don't want to get in trouble with the cops. And if you don't know about Texas cops and weed, like they're super mean about it. They're super strict on it. So I was like, shit. And we both knew this too. So we were like, oh fuck, we gotta go. So we decide to ride to the elementary school, right? And then we're like, you know, this is probably a place where they're going to know we're hiding. So uh, we decide to hide in the woods by the elementary school, which might seem a little extreme to you. Uh, and I thought it would be extreme too. He had the idea. Uh, but then we get into the woods and we're hiding a little bit. We're, like we're not hiding in the leaves or laying down. We're just standing in the woods. And we actually see cops walking around the gas station that's next to the elementary school. Uh, someone must have seen us go there. And it was really scary, especially for me being 11, and I was really scared of it. So about an hour passes by, and it was a really boring hour in these woods, nothing to do. Uh, but anyways, we, uh, we're like, okay, I think we're in the clear. So we exit the woods and grab our bikes, and halfway riding out of the entrance of the elementary school, we see this van pull up. And I didn't think much of it, but then my friend Gavin's eyes just widen, and he's like, shit, that's my mom. Uh, so he's like, oh, fuck. And this fat lady walks out and is like, Gavin, get the fuck in here. And I'm like, oh, shit. Like, is he in trouble? And I, I mean, she probably knew. I don't know how she found out. Uh, but something happened. And uh, so she throws his bike in the back of the van and they drive off. And I didn't know exactly what to do. Uh, so I just rode to my house and waited because school was the next day and I was like shit is this school gonna know so I get to school the next day and I get pulled out of my second period class and uh, the principal starts talking to me and is like you know we know about the weed thing like we know what happened you know someone told us and I was like okay who told you and they wouldn't say who told them uh, so I was kind of left in the dark about that but what I'm pretty sure happened uh, was the, you know the younger kid uh, the younger ginger kid that was there uh, that I really didn't trust. Uh, I think he told his mom uh, after the seventh grader dude told him, and the mom got super worried, of course, because we're like 11 years old handling weed. Uh, super bad idea. So she probably called the school and the cops and uh, had them come. 
I'm not sure if they got questioned or anything, uh, cause I didn't ever talk to them again. I don't think their parents wanted me to. Uh, so yeah, anyways, the principal's like, okay, we're going to have to expel you. And I ended up getting expelled because of this. Uh, luckily I'm out of that situation now. I'm not living with my mom. Uh, so I don't have to worry about that. And that's really good. Uh, so yeah. All right. So if you like this video, give it a like. And if you want more stories, subscribe and peace. Yeah, I've been there, I've done that, done that This rap shit, I run that Motherfucker, this far from a comeback Get one of us far and we run that Can't let that social worker just snatch up my king Gotta get my son back Cause when they coming through That system don't give a fuck about you You, Everybody gonna die, gonna go one day Maybe it'll happen on a Monday Dropping the work and get hit by your Hyundai Fucking let it all